Hey guys, it is Aoife from Fridays Who Died Laughing and I'm here for another Top 5 Wednesday. So the topic this week is the top 5 books that you have read in either one sitting or really, really close to one sitting. Um, so I am going to talk about my books that I read in one sitting. Um, so one of them is Ashes by Yossi J. Bick. Um, I didn't read this in like just one whole sitting, but I read it in very, very close to one. Um, once I got into the story, it was really hard for me to stop reading because it was so good. This is basically about a girl who was kind of on her own travels. She's kind of coming to terms with different things about herself and her life. And this weird kind of sonic boom happens throughout the earth. And what happens is everyone between the ages of basically 25 and 60 drops dead. Like they just drop dead. And then... um. All people who are like elderly over sixty, um, they're all they're all okay. A lot of them who are sick come back. They they're not sick anymore. They wake up or they get better. And then um, a lot of the kids, the teenagers and the children, most of the teenagers, they turn into kind of these crazed cannibals and they don't really have much language skills or communication skills. Um, and they just turn into these crazy bloodthirsty cannibals and um. It's really, really great. I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, it's kind of a mix of, I wouldn't say it's dystopian, but it kind of turns it kind of post-apocalyptic slash horror slash young adult uh, slash a bit of fantasy. Um, really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I just could not stop reading it. So I would suggest anyone that hasn't read that book to pick it up because it's really, really good. And then another one that I read in close to one sitting was Me Before You by Jojo Moyes which is just such an amazing, heartbreaking, just emotional read. Um, this is about a girl who becomes a carer for a paraplegic man um, and she starts learning about his life and then he kind of starts living, living again through, um, through his new carer. I can't remember her name right now. Um, but yeah, really, really good. It's kind of, you know what's coming at the same time you don't know what's coming. Um... Oh, it's just so good. I couldn't put it down. Really, really good read. And I know everyone who's read it has said the same thing. Everyone I know has absolutely loved it. And it's becoming a movie as well. So I would suggest anyone read it before the movie comes out. Because, you know, the books are nearly always better. So definitely read the book first. Now we have the selection series by Kira Cass. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it. I was I just picked the selection up in the library. Didn't really know what to expect. Um, I just really liked the cover, actually. I think the cover was absolutely beautiful which um I have the air here so I just hold up the air um so yeah I just started reading it was very very easy to read it's it's really spaced out the font isn't too big in the whole in the whole four books um that are that's out at the moment of the series um so it's it's very very easy to fly through and the story again you know it's not a completely very completely complicated story so it's very easy to follow along it's very easy to read really fast um so I really really enjoyed that and then another one my fourth one is Starcrossed, the Starcrossed trilogy by Josephine Angelini, which is kind of a retelling where these people are kind of the living embodiment of all these Greek gods and people in Greek mythology. So we have, you know, Hector, Paris, Helen, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon, um, the Sirens, the prophet Cassandra, Orion, all these different uh, people that we would that we would recognize from Greek mythology. Um, it's kind of a retelling. I don't want to give too much away, but um, these people are basically they're kind of like demigods. So they they're not full gods, but they're half gods, and then they're kind of a reincarnation of these different people in Greek mythology. Amazing, amazing. I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I know some people aren't a fan, but I absolutely flew through them. I think all of them. Um, I got the first one. I think in the library. Because I'd actually, I'd actually won the second one in a Goodreads giveaway. And then I hadn't realised that it was the second one. So I had to go and get the first one in the library. Absolutely flew through it. Flew through the second one. Went out and bought the third and flew through that one. Absolutely amazing. And I actually will re-read re 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 them again soon. Because they're really, really good. And I really, really enjoyed them. And then my top one for the book I read in one sitting. I actually did read in one sitting. And it is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. <gasps> this book this book oh my god I started reading this one day at about 
it was about five or six in the evening um I was kind of settling in just for the night uh started to read I'd already finished one book and I was like oh I'll just I'll start this one um and then I'll finish it you know tomorrow started reading and I just couldn't put it down I couldn't put it down I was just hooked into the story I needed to find out what happened and then next thing I knew it was like half four in the morning and I was just like weeping from this book it was so so good um it just hit me like right there and um I read I watched the movie as well when it, um after it came out and I did really enjoy the movie it left me crying as well but um the book just the way the book grabbed me I just couldn't you know couldn't let me go um I really really enjoyed that so oh so good so if you haven't read any of the books that I have uh that I've called out I would definitely suggest anyone to read them because I found them to be really enjoyable reads and I will love to know what books you've read in one sitting and what books you know were, you were totally gripped by that you couldn't put down because I really really want to know and um I will see you guys again soon so bye